So yet again, we have another new vehicle mod that adds a submarine to the game, except this one is designed for venturing through dangerous Leviathan territory. This is the Phantom. So like all the other vehicle mods, you will have to have the vehicle framework and of course the mod itself. Both will be linked in the description below. Once you have them, you're gonna go here to your mobile vehicle bay, go in and you see we've got the Phantom. A medium-sized submarine designed to navigate dangerous territory. So here we go, the Phantom. As you can see, it's the Altera Phantom. And it's got a pretty nice, sleek look to it. It actually is fairly polished looking. You know, it's got these fins here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to help with the lift or something underwater, but we've got all that. And one of the important factors of this is that. A vehicle, a modded vehicle that has a dock for the prawn suit on it. So we've got the hatch up top. We come inside. We've got battery. Uh, there's just squares for that. Okay, but all right. So we got six power cells. We've got upgrades, which this one shows eight. Uh, the last one was six. Some of the other ones have just been six, uh, but it's eight upgrades. And then we got, well, let's see, that's a four by six, so 24 slots. And we have eight of them, so that should be 184 slots, if I'm thinking right uh, in my math. And then we have a built-in fabricator, which is kind of nice. So let's see, uh, I don't have anything nearby for supplies to try building, but let's just see. We can build inside. Okay, so that's kind of a nice touch. And again... This is an interesting one because it actually has a docking mechanism for the uh, prawn suit at the back, as you saw. And it looks like maybe not the door function like in the sea truck in uh, Below Zero, but at least we got like a visual. Okay, it's definitely not as fast as the last one, the Wraith. But this is meant to be more of a heavy duty, heavy armor type one. So obviously we gotta go test out the armor best way to do that head in this direction go find a reaper oh well i guess you know the bone sharks are one of the more annoying ones so come on tap me. all right so right off the bat that's an attack oh there we go we lost a point so a much higher armor rating than the sea moth has natively in the game and this is no mods this is just using that that's it. Come on, come on. I want you to attack me too. All right, I'm going. Oh, there, I got it. Got that extra point. So, yeah, not bad in terms of just the default armor. You didn't want to use anything else. This will definitely already have you covered for not getting attacked and being destroyed too easily. Granted, speed wise, it's probably not going to be the one that's going to get you out of danger quick enough. Now we gotta test out the docking mechanism. Might as well go ahead. Oh, wow, okay, that was quick. I wasn't even like lined up kind of the way you have to do for this uh, sea truck. It just kind of like immediately hooked me in. Oh, there, yep, yeah, okay. I, I mean, I wasn't even like on the back of it. I was just kind of to the side and it just snapped me in. So, yep, there it goes again. So no animation like we get with the C truck, but you know, uh, it gives us something. If you just want to have, you will have something in between the Cyclops and the sea moth, but also still carry the prawn suit. Then, then this might be for you. I'm taking damage and I hear something. It's like something's knocking. So I don't know if it's an effect of the prawn suit being attached. It's like, it's acting like it's bumping it. Or if I've got something stuck between this and the prawn suit and it's doing that. But you see my health is dropping and I just, like every few seconds there was a up sound. Like something was hitting the hull. So of course we know this being a vehicle framework mod is going to take the depth upgrade, which now puts me up to 1800 meters. Okay, so the wraith that I did on the last video went to 2000 meters from a initial 100 meters. This was 900 up to 1800, which to be fair, still gets you everywhere you need to go in the normal game. And we'll go ahead and do the energy efficiency. 
Uh, let's do a test with the speed. Oh, yep. Acting like I hit something. It's still acting like I'm hitting something. You know what? Let's let's take the prawn suit out. Welcome Just to make sure it's not like something got stuck. Okay, no knocking sound. And no taking damage. So Okay, so maybe a little buggy right now. Hopefully, there'll be an update to it because it does seem to be if you're driving with the prawn suit docked. It, it, it's just acting like it's hitting it and it's dealing damage to the phantom, but fortunately not the prawn suit. Alright, that, that's my top speed now. You see how fast I'm going. That's, that's not too terribly fast or slow. And of course, it is one you can't park on an angle. You know, don't want to go sliding downhill. Let's put the, the speed boost in. And you can definitely hear the difference. It, all right, it seems slightly faster. Just very slightly faster. Not by much. Oh, there we go. See the tail. Come here, Mr. Reaper. Come on. I want to see how you attack me. So we got to see how much damage he does. And also, this is kind of that sub that is in between the size of a sea moth and the Cyclops. Okay, he grabs hold. He's able to grab it. So it's basically like a sea moth as opposed to the Cyclops where it's just going to swipe at you and keep going. Uh, that did not do much damage. Great. I was at 99 because of some bone sharks chasing me down, but three points of damage with no hull reinforcement upgrade. So I'm going to put that in. So me. Oh, oh. Okay. If I am not piloting, are you going to do anything? Oh, he got it. He knocked me out of it. Okay, so if you are not in the pilot seat when he grabs hold, uh, you, uh, you're you going to get tossed right out of it. Mr. Reaper has decided to go off in that direction, hopefully long enough for me to repair. Oh, oh, I got it. There we go. We got it. Okay. I got it to 100%. This is a Mark IV reinforcement upgrade. Come on, dude. Shake it up. Do the... Not even a single point of damage. Look at that. I mean... Okay, he did enough that... <laughs> it's like the other vehicle mod I tested where with the upgrade, the armor rating just went insanely through the roof to where just seeing they're getting attacked it was like you weren't taking any damage. Okay, we're gonna put in six fresh ion power cells combined with, of course, the efficiency module and then the speed module, which drops the efficiency down a bit. And I'm going to test out the prawn suit again, because now with the vehicle uh, hull reinforcement upgrade from this mod, it's supposed to eliminate any impact damage. So I'm hoping, and that jerk right there that happened makes me think, it's probably the same thing happening. I hear the impacts hitting. So yeah, if you're going to use this without mods, without any upgrades to it, you're going to take impact damage from the prawn suit, at least right now in this version of it. Hopefully that gets fixed. So you don't have to have it, but otherwise just throw some reinforcements in there or a hull reinforcement upgrade. You got eight slots. And that should minimize or, you know, like in this case, completely eliminates the impact damage. So I am occasionally, and it's not consistent. I don't know what's causing it, but occasionally I'm hearing the prawn suit step. Like right there, it did it. And most of the times I hear it is that two-step thing where the prawn suit like step, step, and then kind of, you know, it sits down when you get out of it. Is doing that sound effect. So I don't know if that maybe is something to do with the way it's interacting between the the two vehicles. Because it's definitely having some issues with the prawn suit being docked. It's it's 
it's not comfortable with it back there. All right, ghosty. Give me your best shot. That was nothing. You know, I just realized I didn't put a uh, depth upgrade in the prawn suit yet. So that's going to be an interesting question. Is the prawn suit going to be treated like it is in the Cyclops when it's docked inside and it's not affected by pressure? Or is it actually going to sit there and start taking damage? Uh, I'm not seeing it. Also, is that you see how it's acting? Oh, yeah, it kind of looks like it is like a little bit of damage or maybe that. No, that was the phantom. Okay, so it's acting a little goofy with the prawn suit right now. Oh, I hear it. Yep, I hear it. The prawn suit, I think, is taking damage. I, I mean, I hear it. I can't see damage to it. But that's it's always showing me the health of the phantom. But you can hear, it sounds like it's going to break. Maybe it's just the sound effect because it should be imploding, but it's not actually taking damage. Uh, and you know, again, I'm gonna find out if it suddenly just implodes at the back of the sub. There you are. Come here, buddy. Look, I want you to attack me. Give me everything you got. No, I'm not over there. Wrong, wrong way. Here you go. Here we go. Ah, you, your aim is horrible, dude. You're somebody like all around me. I see that smacking you. Come here. Come on. Come after me again. Come swipe me. Hit me with your claw. Or just gently nudge me. Oh, oh. Did he, am I? Okay, I, you saw that. It was just kind of like, Sparks everywhere. And I saw my health drops to 98 while it was kind of stuttery, but I thought for a second he knocked me outside of it. And I was getting a little worried I was about to be eaten. But no, uh, wow. Pretty much seems like he gave me a full on blast. Like every single one of the fireballs hit me. It kind of made it act a little goofy and I'm okay. I took like not even a full two points of damage off of that. That is, that's how much armor I have on this now combined with, of course, the, uh, the upgrade for it, the hull reinforcement upgrade. And I only used uh, not even 2% of my total power on the ion power cells. Driving from my base in the plateaus all the way down here to the active inactive lava zone uh, That's using the efficiency module mark four, but also the speed boost module Which means I do lose efficiency with it. So I'm not getting the full effect of the efficiency module But yeah throw these in there and you got a really good strong sub the The prawn suit interaction is goofy. Hopefully that's gonna be a quick fix for this, otherwise, you know, definitely get the uh, reinforcement upgrade to get rid of the impact damage caused by bumping into your prawn suit the entire time you're driving. And then remember, you can't do the storage modules, but you've got eight 24 slot storage containers here. So you've got some storage on it and it can be built inside. Like, oh yeah, well, power cell charger is not gonna do much, but you can build a Battery charger, uh, all in one fabricator. Oh, it's, uh, that's kind of feel like it, it's not lining up quite as nicely as that one. So yeah, you could even throw in, I guess. Yeah. If you want, throw in some extra storage here. Be like, oh yeah, you know, that's not enough storage. I need more storage. You might want to fine tune your placement a bit. So there you go. The Phantom Submarine. Again, this is designed around being able to take a lot of damage, going into the more dangerous areas, featuring, of course, the Leviathans, and is capable of carrying the prawn suit on the back, same way we see it done with the sea truck in Below Zero. I like this. This has a nice, sleek design. Six power cells, eight spots for mods or for upgrades to it, and it will take the modded upgrades, which means, again, slap in energy efficiency, Power is going to last practically forever, especially with ion power cells. You slap in the Mark IV hull reinforcement. You're 
not invincible, but you might as well be. And, uh, you know, definitely slap in a good speed upgrade because it's not getting a big boost from the speed upgrades, but it definitely helps get, get around a little bit more. But again, this is the Phantom. If you want to check it out, linked below. You do have to have the vehicle framework for this to work. And, uh, yo, hey, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of the sub. Are you trying it in your own game? Uh, I want to hear from you. So, hey, thanks for watching. See you next time.